All right, so I got a long list here of don't do items. There's a lot of things you want to avoid because all of these things, if you do them, can have a negative impact on your personal brand. So regardless of your age, regardless of how you feel based on last night's festivities, don't ever talk at work about how hungover you are. Don't even talk about drinking alcohol at work, especially if you're under 21. I hope it goes without saying, but don't get drunk at work. Don't get drunk with colleagues or with clients. No, you are very early in your career. Yeah, it might be nice to relax and unwind and everybody's doing it. You wanna develop the best possible personal brand and professional etiquette so that people think very highly of you, you're respected and trusted, and you don't do or say anything dumb or inappropriate around coworkers or clients that you might resent. Uh, don't drink at lunch or in the office or before 5 p.m. And don't talk about how attractive or sexy or hot you think a colleague or a client or really anyone is. Your um, attractions to various human beings, not something that has to come up in the workplace. Just in general, avoid all sex related topics as that's not what you're there at work for. Uh, one last thing that I'll share um, is that if you do go out the night before to a bar, maybe they stamp your hand, um, say at the tombs, for example, do your best as soon as you get into the bar to go wash that stamp off your hand. Because if you don't do anything about it, you wake up the next morning, it's on there pretty good. And I may or may not gotten some feedback my first year at Deloitte from my manager that, you know, I was the guy who came in three days a week with a stamp on his hand from wherever he went out the night before. And that's not exactly what you want to be developing uh, as your personal brand. You know, what you do outside of work is your own business. Just make sure it doesn't linger with you into the workplace. In terms of timing, you want to be prompt. Five minutes early is on time. So you don't want to be the last person to arrive in the morning, and you don't want to be the first person to leave in the evening. And since we're working in a virtual environment, it's not exactly, you know, sitting at your desk and people see when you walk in or out, uh, but it might be when do you send your first email of the day or Slack message, and when do you send your last email of the day? Um, you also want to be prepared to be responsive in those early morning hours and those uh, evening hours. I'd say before six o'clock, if your boss or somebody you work with sends you a message, it's reasonable to expect that you might respond that same day. Um, you don't want to get like a 8 a.m. email from your boss and you don't respond till two in the afternoon. Maybe there's some work you have to do on it and you're not ready to give them a full answer. You can reply simply um, to acknowledge that you received it, you're working on it, and you'll follow up and provide us a certain time frame that's reasonable for you to meet uh, on when you'll give him additional information. That makes sure that your boss or your colleagues know that you're working on it, you've received the message, because if it's just crickets, they have no idea if you even know that you sent them a message. Um, and in terms of leaving at the end of the day when you are back in person, uh, I think a good rule of thumb is to leave five to 10 minutes after your boss. It looks good that you're still working there. Uh, and you don't wanna leave 60 seconds after your boss because he might've stopped or she might've stopped at the restroom and then suddenly you see her in the elevator and it's like, oh, what? You were just waiting for me to leave and now you're gonna leave? So let them get, you know, uh, be patient, if you will, to let them get all the way out of the building into their cars and on their merry way home before you decide to head out. Uh, I also strongly, strongly encourage you to not gossip. Don't gossip at work. Don't gossip with your classmates. Don't gossip with your friends from home. There is literally nothing positive that comes from gossiping and talking negatively about people when they're not in the room. This whole session tonight is about your personal brand. And it's about what people say about you when you're not in the room. And if they're in the room with, if when they are in the room with you, you're talking negatively about other people, they're gonna be way more inclined to say negative things about you when you are not in the room, All right? You wanna develop a strong personal brand uh, that speaks highly of others. And you can remember what Thumper's mother said in Bambi, where if you don't have anything nice to say, don't say anything at all. Uh, just generally don't say any negative things. And when you're thinking about saying something, reflect a little bit on how you would feel if you heard that somebody else had said that about you. Regardless of your intentions and your beliefs about gossiping, there's probably going to be one or two folks at your company who like to gossip and they, they might chirp at others or they might have kind of back channel making fun of folks while you're in meetings. Just don't participate in that. Avoid those interactions. Minimize time you spend with those people because ultimately they're exhibiting negative qualities that you don't want to be associated with. Something that's going to be super hard for all of you, I'm sure, uh, is to avoid glancing at your phone. When you're 
in the room, be in the room. All right. If you haven't seen the movie Hitch with uh, Will Smith, I 10 out of 10 highly recommend it. He's got a ton of great tips as a date doctor, but also how to be present uh, in work as he's helping um, the main character who's trying to impress uh, this fancy businesswoman. He's like, when you're in the room, be in the room. Don't daydream about other things. Don't be glancing at your phone or scrolling through Instagram or doing whatever. Focus, all right? Pay attention, lock in on your video camera, review the material that are being discussed, take notes. Um, you know, it's totally fine uh, in some meetings to say, hey, uh, just to let you know, I've got uh, a second monitor up here. So if I'm glancing over here, I'm taking notes. I just want to capture everything we're talking about. I want to let you know that I'm not, you know, multitasking and doing something else. I'm really focused because I know this is an important topic. And I want to help uh, make sure that I document everything we talk about, whether it's a second monitor or a notebook and a pen and paper that you're writing things down with. Uh, it's a great habit to just communicate and basically name what it is you're doing. So folks know you're paying attention. Um, I recommend you leave your ringer off during meetings uh, and meals. Uh, it's great to avoid putting your phone on the table. Like people don't need to see your phone because your brain even subconsciously at this point is probably so addicted to your phone that it's constantly thinking, oh, I wonder if I got a new notification. I wonder if anybody liked that thing I posted this morning. You know, put it in your pocket, out of sight, out of mind. You wanna put it in a bag, uh, even better. Um, you also don't wanna text or email during a meeting unless the email or text is directly relevant to what you're talking about and came up that, hey, we gotta talk to Susan about X. And you're like, oh, I'll, I'll get right on it. I'll send her a message right now. Go ahead and do that. If it's not directly work related to this meeting, don't do it. You also wanna avoid sending emails to colleagues who might be in that meeting about a different project or something else you're working on during the meeting. You might draft it if you're able to, you know, put some things together, but recognize if other people are in a meeting and they're paying attention, uh, by you sending an email during the meeting, you're communicating that you're not paying attention and you think they may not be paying attention and you think the thing you're emailing about is more important than whatever you're meeting about. So wait until after the meeting is ended uh, to send the uh, email or text. And hopefully it goes without saying, but don't post dumb shit on the internet. Everybody and their mother has a, a Facebook or a Twitter or an Instagram. Most people have TikTok. Uh, I don't even know what else, maybe there's a Snapchat or whatever the kids are using these days. Assume that people you currently work with and future employers can and will check out all of your social media accounts so make it PG-13, I'll leave it at that. Have fun, live your life, but recognize anything you put out on the internet may be seen by current or future employers 